Hello everybody, welcome back to Channel Machine Arena. In the world of agriculture, few transformations have been as remarkable as the modernization of pig farming. Modern sows are bred using artificial insemination, allowing farmers to select the best genetic lines for health, productivity, and growth. Once pregnant, sows are moved to specially designed farrowing crates, spaces optimized for the safety of both the mother and her piglets. Here, temperature, lighting, and airflow are carefully controlled. Heating pads or lamps ensure that piglets, who are born with little ability to regulate their own temperature, stay warm and healthy. At birth, piglets are tiny and vulnerable, but they grow fast, doubling in size within just a few days. Hygiene is crucial in this stage. After each farrowing cycle, pens are thoroughly cleaned using high-pressure mobile cleaning systems, which help eliminate pathogens and maintain a safe environment. These cleaning tools, powered by frequency-regulated pumps, allow for precision and efficiency while conserving water and energy. After about three to four weeks, the piglets are weaned from their mother and moved to a nursery unit. This stage is critical for building their immune systems and transitioning to solid feed. Nursery barns are equipped with automatic feeding systems, delivering custom formulated diets to support digestive health and consistent growth. The feed is often supplemented with vitamins, probiotics, and enzymes to minimize the need for antibiotics. Hello everybody, welcome back to Channel Machine Arena. In today's livestock industry, pig farming has evolved far beyond traditional methods across Europe and around the world. Innovative systems are transforming how pigs are bred, raised, and cared for. In this video, we explore the latest techniques in artificial insemination and modern pig farming. Methods that not only improve efficiency and productivity, but also raise the bar for animal welfare. Artificial insemination, or AI, is now a cornerstone of modern pig breeding. Unlike natural mating, this process allows for the careful selection of genetic, superior traits such as faster growth, higher litter sizes, and improved disease resistance can be passed on effectively. where boars of high genetic value are selected for semen collection. These centers follow strict hygiene protocols and use advanced technology to collect, evaluate, and preserve semen. The semen is then stored and transported in temperature-controlled con This precision approach minimizes the number of boars needed on site, reduces the spread of diseases, and increases the genetic diversity available to farms, movement of pig stock across entire regions. Immediately after stunning, the pigs are hoisted for bleeding, a crucial step that must be completed quickly to ensure meat hygiene and quality. Sign. Once bled, the carcasses move to scalding and de-herring stations where high temperature water softens the skin and automated scrapers remove bristles. These stages are often overlooked but are vital for maintaining cleanliness and avoiding contamination further down the line. Phase is evisceration, the removal of internal organs. In this facility, it's performed by trained staff with the help of ergonomic platforms and semi-automated tools. Internal organs are collected for separate inspection and possible processing while the carcass continues down the line. Once the pigs have been fully cleaned, split, and inspected, they enter the chilling rooms. 
Cooling must happen rapidly to prevent bacterial growth and preserve meat quality. This facility uses forced air chillers and optimized hanging systems to ensure even cooling of each carcass. But the real innovation begins after slow equipment comes into play. The pork carcasses are transferred to the cutting line where precision meets a This facility uses semi-automatic round knife systems to break down each carcass. These machines allow for consistent cuts and dramatically reduce bone dust and meat waste. At the heart of this system is a round blade that moves smoothly through pork shoulders, loins, and hams. Unlike conventional saws that splinter bone and risk contamination, these cutting tools provide clean, controlled slices with minimal physical strain for operators. This semi-automated system doesn't replace human workers, it enhances their capabilities. Each station is ergonomically designed, allowing trained butchers to focus on precision work, supported by mechanical tools that reduce fatigue and increase output. Speed is important, but it can't come at the cost of quality. The facility's design allows for up to 300 pigs per hour to be processed while still maintaining tight controls over hygiene, temperature, and traceability. Cameras and sensors monitor everything from equipment sanitation to product weight and flow, ensuring that every step meets international standards. From the cutting line, pork is sent to packaging and cold storage. Some portions are vacuum sealed and labeled for retail distribution. Others are boxed in bulk for industrial customers or further processing into sausages, bacon, and other value-added products. Throughout the facility, strict hygiene protocols are enforced. Workers wear protective clothing, pass through sanitation zones, and operate in climate-controlled environments. Machinery is washed and sterilized daily, and waste products are separated and recycled where possible. While this may look like a scene from a futuristic factory, it's already the new standard for modern meat processing. Facilities like this one help meet the global demand for high-quality, affordable protein, while also improving traceability, safety, and working conditions. This homemade wood shredder is a powerful example of DIY engineering. Built with a drum cutting mechanism, it easily processes thick branches and wood waste into chips. The rotating drum, fitted with blades, ensures fast and consistent shredding. Powered by a robust motor, the machine operates smoothly and handles heavy-duty tasks with ease. It's a practical, low-cost solution for small farms or workshops needing efficient wood disposal. The design reflects creativity, resourcefulness, and solid mechanical skills. In this short demonstration, you'll see the shredder in action, a testament to what can be achieved with the right tools and a bit of ingenuity. Perfect for those passionate about rural machinery and homemade innovations. Next, we explore the powerful TM1200 and TB900 units, engineered for the efficient processing of large diameter logs. These high-performance tools are designed to handle substantial volumes of wood, making them ideal for forestry and firewood production. The process begins with the TM1200, a heavy-duty cutting unit designed to process logs with a diameter of up to 1200 millimeters. 
The TM-1200 uses a specialized saw with a 1600mm chain blade to slice through logs with incredible precision. Thanks to its advanced optical sensor system, the machine automatically measures the length of each log, ensuring precise cuts and reducing waste. Once the logs are cut to the desired size, they are transferred to the TB900, a hydraulic splitting unit built to handle logs ranging from 300 to 900 millimeters in diameter. The TB900 is equipped with a powerful 22 kilowatts electric motor, capable of generating up to 40 tons of splitting force. This immense power ensures that even the toughest wood can be split efficiently and with minimal effort. What makes this system truly remarkable is its high level of automation. One operator can oversee the entire process, from cutting to splitting. The TM1200's automatic cutting function works in tandem with the TB900's hydraulic splitting, creating a seamless workflow that maximizes productivity. This automation not only boosts efficiency, but also ensures that each log is processed consistently with minimal variation in size. Throughout the process, the logs are cleaned using a series of rollers that remove bark and sawdust. This cleaning step is crucial for maintaining the quality of the final product, whether it's for firewood, industrial use, or further processing. The entire system operates at impressive speed with an average output of 150 cubic meters of firewood per eight hour shift. This high throughput makes it an ideal solution for businesses that require large quantities of firewood in a short time. The TM1200 and TB900 units offer a sophisticated solution for large diameter log processing. With their cutting edge automation and powerful splitting capabilities, they enable efficient, high quality production with minimal labor. Whether you're handling forestry operations or producing firewood, these machines ensure that you can process wood quickly and effectively without compromising on precision or quality. The Semikolov Wood Splitter, also known as the drug system, utilizes centrifugal force to split wood. Unlike conventional splitters that use sharp blades or wedges, this machine relies on a large rotating disc with multiple cutting edges attached around its circumference. When the disc spins at high speed, the centrifugal force propels the cutting edges outward, allowing them to slice through logs quickly and efficiently. This innovative approach allows the Samokolov splitter to handle large volumes of wood in a short time. The design minimizes the need for manual labor, making it a valuable tool for anyone working with firewood or processing logs on a larger scale. The machine's simplicity, combined with its powerful cutting force, enables it to split even thick and dense logs with ease. However, it's important to note that safety is a key consideration when using this type of splitter. Due to the high-speed rotation of the disc, the machine must be operated with caution and proper safety gear should always be worn. Regular maintenance and checks on the machine's components are also necessary to ensure it continues to operate at its best. The Semikolov wood splitter offers a fast, efficient, and cost-effective solution for wood splitting, utilizing centrifugal force in a way that is both simple and powerful. It's an excellent example of how innovation can lead to practical solutions in everyday tasks like firewood processing. 